Good morning and welcome to the morning announcements. Weather, sports, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Check your emails for homecoming court nominations. Voting runs until Wednesday and your 2021 FHS homecoming court will be announced at the end of the week. It's college go week. Tomorrow will be, will be military appreciation day. Dress up for it and anything camouflage. Wednesday, it is dress for success. Therefore, dress for your future career. For anyone interested in working crew for the theater, there will be a call out tomorrow in the theater after school. The meeting will be short, but Mr. Taylor will discuss available positions, schedules, and expectations. If you have any questions, please feel free to email him. Each year, the Coca-Cola Scholars Foundation awards 150 college scholarships worth of $20,000 to high school students across the United States through the Coca-Cola Scholars Program. Students need a 3.0 GPA to fill out an online application that requires no essays, no recommendations, and no transcripts by October 31, 2021 at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Now to weather and sports. Good morning, and it seems like today was raining quite a bit. It will be raining today and throughout the week, being in the mid-60s to mid-70s. And on the weekend, it will be sunny, so attempt to enjoy the weather while it lasts. That's all for our weather report. Let's send to Cohen and Nelson with sports. Thanks, Kyle. The hot dog invite took place on a hot Saturday afternoon. University won the tournament by defeating Frankfurt and Seeger. The hot dogs had a solid performances over all for the day. Eli and Elijah's determination and fight during incredible hot temperatures is commendable. They really demonstrate the spirit of the game. Great work, guys. For cross country, the boys team placed 11th out of 30 complete teams and the girls cross country team placed 22nd out of 30 complete teams in the 2A race at the New Prairie Invite. Individually, the boys were led by Josue Bautista Ventura in 11th place out of 244 runners, while the girls team were led by Karina Alanis in 5th place out of 238 runners. The Fairford Boys varsity soccer team traveled to Covington High School to participate in their Invitational. Frankfurt played Faith Christian in the second game of the tournament after Covington defeated West Ver Vigo. Frankfurt entered halftime tied with Faith Christian 0-0 after a very emotional and adverse first half. Faith Christian came out in the second half firing on all cylinders and scored three goals early in the second half. Frankfurt would get one back when Junior Marcos Garcia assisted senior Yobani Trinado. Faith Christian would regain three goals led late in the game for the end result of the match being Faith Christian fourth, four Frankfurt one. In the consolation match, Frankfurt faced off against West Vigo. West Vigo placed, put, a, put two goals in the back of the net in the first half to take a 2-0 lead in the ha into halftime. Frankfurt rallied in the second half to tie the game first with a goal from senior Jose Balderas on a Yobani Trinaldo corner kick and a second goal from freshman Ethan Hudspeth off a senior De Damian Lopez assists West Vigo would not be denied third place in tournament as they scored twice in the final 15 minutes to win the match 4-2. Favorite is now 5-6 and six on the season. The Hot Dogs will host West Lafayette on Tuesday. Kickoff is at 5.30. Now let's send it to Nelson with football. The football team sadly fell to conference rivals, the Lebanon Tigers. The football team struggled to adjust in the first half, and that led to them to struggle in the second half. Offensively, the Hot Dogs struggled to find consistency in the passing game, only scoring one touchdown early in the second quarter. Defensively, the Dogs struggled to stop a very fast and physical team, which led to a final score of 47-6. Our special teams units again did a great job with some awesome punts, but missed a tackle on the return, which led to the Tigers scoring a touchdown. The Hot Dogs are back on the road this Friday to face Weibo. Kickoff is at 7. Now back to Cone with the results of the girls golf sectional. Thanks, Nelson. The Lady Hot Dogs competed at sectionals on Friday. Emily Shipley shot a personal best 82. She is the first Lady Hot Dog to win sectionals for golf. She was the low medalist and will advance to regionals. Congratulations, Emily. Good luck at regionals. Now, back to your hosts. 
Happy birthday goes out to Eudora North, Kendra Saavedra, and Hunter Shire. Wishing you a great day. That's it for the announcements, hot dogs. Make sure to like and subscribe for more updates from our daily news. Have a marvelous Monday.